everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your no repeat TRX workout. This is day number 17 of your next level November challenge, and we're gonna hit it hard for your entire body, strength, cardio, mobility, and flexibility using your TRX suspension trainer. This is a no repeat workout, so once we're done with an exercise, we are done with it and we're moving on. So it's gonna go quick, we're gonna get your heart pumping, we're gonna get those muscles burning, and we're gonna have a great time doing it. All you need for this workout is your TRX suspension trainer and a mat. Are you ready? Let's do it. Go ahead and shine, darling, go ahead. Okay, we're gonna start with a quick little warm up. You are holding your straps right in the center, elbows by your side. Let's just sit as low as we can and reach it up. So I have my straps about a third of the way up, almost halfway up, because I have a little bit of a lower ceiling height here in my gym space. I don't do a ton of adjusting with the straps until we go down to the mat. So I'll give you some cues on when you may need to go a little higher or a little lower, but mostly just make sure you keep that tension in your straps and that you're far enough away that you're really getting that suspended, whether that's the balance moves like the legs or suspended for the upper. So walking in here, arms out in front, just reach up to the side. If you are new to TRX, I'm gonna talk you through it. I'm gonna give you options. If you are a, a pro, you've been doing this for a while, I'll give you options as well. Swing it all the way through. And breathe. Two more. And take it here. We're gonna go side to side. So little lateral lunge. Reach those arms in front. Here to here. Take it down and up. and then flip yourself around. We're gonna step forward into it. Just leaning, opening up the hip in the back. You can add a little rotation here to here. So no repeat TRX. We're just gonna go through several different exercises. We'll get some breaks in between. I'll talk you through it again. We'll build them as we go. Hold it here, a little stretch right here, and then we'll switch our sides. But again, once we are done with it, we are done with it. So hopefully, flip yourself around. This workout goes fast for you. I already feel my heart rate getting up. Whew. Remember, be where you are today. Work to your level. Challenge yourself, but in a way that works for you. Remember, if you showed up today, you are successful. So we're gonna start with our basic one-legged squat. So we've got the toe here if you need it for balance or out on that heel. If you can, you're gonna lift it up. Core is engaged. You got 30 seconds to start. Starting now, here we go. Drop it down and bring it up. So on this, again, I'm starting with my elbows at the top of those straps are still, still tight. If you need that extra balance, you just put that toe right there. The goal is to work in that one leg. If you're able, we're gonna get low with it. Pistol squat, drive it up. Keep it nice and tall. Yes, 10 seconds. Breathe it here, core engaged. Three, two, one. Switch your sides right here, we're going right into it. I know that heart rate might be up. Toe down if you need it, or another modification is to have that heel down and maybe have it just touch at the ground in that hard part and then drive up. Again, if you can, low into the pistol squat, drive up and through, or here, yes. Breathe into it. Good. Last one right here. Yes, relax. Walk your feet forward into that basic row. Straps nice and tight, core engaged. Watch me right here. Elbows come to my side, wrists are straight, dropping it back. Not pulling up to that loose and not letting ourselves drop. Here we go, three, two, one. 30 seconds. And breathe, we're here. Core's engaged, everything's nice and tight. Little modification if you need to, one foot forward, give yourself a little extra. It's just helping you with that stability. You're still getting that work. If it feels too easy, walk those feet forward. Five seconds, can you get two more? And then let's stay right here. Let's turn our palms down, take those elbows wide. 
Right, we got another 30 seconds. I know, I'm making you have some longer sets, but you can do it. Wide row, squeeze in those shoulder blades. Promise you this workout's gonna go quick. And breathe. You're here. Yes. Squeeze it through. Holding those elbows back behind my body. Five seconds. Burn. Three, two, one. Stretch it back right here. Shake it out. Yes. All right, team. Now we are putting those together. Not repeating, creating one exercise. You're going halfway down, watch me. And then pull it up with the row. Here we go. Halfway down, push through the squat, pull up with the row. Halfway down, legs are working, then upper body is working. So you're not leaning back into that row, you're still staying straight up and tall, and then when you get at the halfway point, use your upper body to bring yourself back up, right? Again, you can have that toe down if you need to. Whew. Breathe, five, four, three, two, switch your sides, palms down right here. Halfway down, pull it up wide. So legs working from here to here, and then that upper body. Core stays engaged the entire time, not letting those hips drop. Keep breathing into it, here we go. And breathe. So lower to upper. You can get pistol squat too. Five seconds, four, three, two, yes, shake it out. All right, team, one little cardio burn, 30 seconds. We're gonna take those toes out into a plie. Watch me, you can jump it in to a close out, or you can walk it out, walk it in. 30 seconds, then we get a breather, we're mixing it up, all right? Getting through this fast, core is tight. Legs, let's get them done. Let's get some cardio in three, two, toes out, plie. Little jump in, close squat, plie squat. Eyes up, close, and plie. Close, and plie. Take it close. Remember, you can walk it too. If that's better for you, you're still gonna get that heart rate up, right? You're still gonna get those legs working. One last little push, 10 seconds. Breathe, take it in, take it out. Three, two, one, relax, catch your breath. All right, grab a quick sip of water. Woo. How are we doing, team? Are you feeling that? I know I am. Woo. Shake it out, we are getting it done. We're gonna face away from our anchor point. You may need to adjust your shafts a little bit or just step a little further away. Again, if you have a low ceiling height, you might not feel like you need to. That core is engaged. If you need to modify, put one foot forward. We're gonna start with that chest press. So we're here. If it feels too easy, walk it back. Core is engaged, making sure we're not here and we're not letting it drop down, right? So everything is pulled in, zipped up. Watch me one time, lowering down chest press, pushing them in. If you feel those straps rubbing, you wanna bring your hands a little higher. So go ahead and get set up, zip everything up in three, two, one, 30 seconds. We're here, we're pressing, we're here. So again, no repeat, but we're gonna switch it up. Two sets of 30 back to back. Similar muscle groups, a little bit of a superset. If that feels too tough, walk your feet forward a little bit. You can still, again, maintain that good form. Core is engaged or have one foot forward. Either way, you're pushing with the upper, you're pulling with the core. Let's turn those palms in. You're gonna go chest fly. You may have to walk forward a little bit more because this one may be a little trickier. Instead of here, we're out here. Tougher with that core, tougher, tougher on the arms and shoulders, Squeeze it in. Upper body push, core pull. So pull that core in as you're coming back. You got 10 seconds, here we go. And breathe, yes. Let's go three, two, one. Walk it forward, stretch it out, yes. Woo, breathe, ha. We're gonna bring those hands up. We're gonna take it into a lunge from here, watch me. We're gonna lunge, drive the knee. Lunge, 
Drive the knee. We're gonna keep those arms up for that mobility and flexibility. If you wanna add a jump, you can. If you wanna keep it regular lunge, you can. So bring those arms up, nice long straight line. When you drop down, we're here, knee up. Join me, here we go. Take it down, knee up, arms up, and up. Feel that flexibility. If you need to modify, just don't go down as far. If you're able, get low. If you wanna progress it, drive it up. Take it here, drive it up. Out and in, yes, little burn. Knee to your chest, so that's that core working, right? So here, yes, three, two, one. Switch your sides, let's do it. Down, knee up. Keep those arms up. I know they're working, but you can do it. Yes, you can modify just a tap. You can progress with that jump. Yes, low to high, low to high. Keep it going and breathe. Yes, team. Three, two, one. Relax, stretch it off. Catch your breath. All right, team, so here we go. Watch me here. We're going one press, one fly, roll it forward, and lunge. One press, one fly, roll it forward for core, lunge it down, push out of it. Not quite the same as the lunge because you're gonna push back, but let's get that upper body working. Core zipped, arms out in front, three, two, one. One press, only 30 seconds, one fly, Roll it out, lunge it down, push out of it. Press, fly, roll out, lunge, and push. Yes, press, fly, roll, and push. You got time for one more, all the way through. Good, relax, walk it forward, get that stretch. Ha. Good work, team. All right, let's get a little cardio. We're gonna tap it back, tap it forward, or you're gonna jump it. Jump it here to here. Up to you, all we got is 30 seconds. Breathe into it. No repeat, alternate your lunge. Whew. Zip up that core, stepping forward, alternating, or jumping it in three, two, one. Here we go, here, and jump. It's tough to keep those arms and up. If you wanna just step into it, you're alternating. So not that lunge and knee like we did before. No repeat, right? We're here to here. Take it up and down. Again, trying to keep those arms up so we keep that mobility, we get that stretch, we get everything working harder. Less than 10 seconds. Step into it or jump into it. Three, two, one. Relax. Catch your breath. Yes. Team, all right, you're doing it. Breathe, tap it out. All right, we're going back, facing. Huh. Facing it right here. Turn facing your anchor point. We're gonna curtsy lunge. We're gonna cross it over, and then we're gonna lunge it regular. So one cross, one regular, zip up that core, arms are tight. Here we go. Cross it over, take it up, lunge it back. Take it up, cross it over, up, and back. Cross, if you need to tap it down in between, that's an option, but I want you to keep that front leg doing the work, right? So keep it going. Cross, and back, cross. One more all the way through, each way. Switch your sides, here we go. Cross, tap it down if you need to, or keep it off the ground if you're able, but drive up through that front heel. Don't get sloppy, I can feel myself getting sloppy, so I'm gonna readjust, zip up that core, keep it in that leg. Yes, and down. Whoo, burn, right? There we go. Last one. Yes, relax, shake it out. All right, we're gonna take it with a bicep curl. So those palms are up. We got 30 seconds, elbows in. Then we're gonna take it 
with a Y. Big stretch up for shoulders. All right, zip up the core. Bicep curl is out in front of your body. Your muscle memory is gonna wanna row and use your back, but you're gonna keep it out and use those biceps. Walk it forward, arms straight on front. 30 seconds, here to here, keep it going. And breathe, Hup. Whoo, eyes up. There we go, yes. Remember, muscle memory wants to do this because those big muscles in the back are stronger, but we're gonna keep it here. Elbows out in front of your body, curl towards your ears. Keep it going, five, four, three, two, big Y, Y. Resist it on your way down. Take it Y, resist it on your way down. Nice and long and resist. Core is engaged the entire time. So you may have to pull through it. You may have the strength and the mobility to come straight up, but you also might have to come, that's what I have to do. You're still getting the same muscles working. So keep it going. Five, four with the Y, three, two, one. Big stretch right here, yes. Whoo, good work team. Hi, we're gonna lunge it. We're gonna come up with our biceps. Watch me here. Lunge and curl. Lunge and curl. So same idea as our regular squat that we did. We're halfway point, you gotta pull with your arms. It's a little bit tricky to figure out what's working, but we're still gonna get it done. Here we go. Curtsy, curl it to the top. Curtsy if you can, and curl. Take it curtsy, all the way through. Hup. Drive up and pull it in, yes. And breathe. 10 seconds, feel them both working even though it's not as intense as when we do one at a time. Yes, switch your side, See, keep the curl. And curl, this is my tougher side, right? And breathe, watch my hands, I'm gonna fold them over, I'm gonna pull, so that way I get that elbow work as well. Eyes up, drop it low, pull it through, yes. Breathe, and up. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's take it to that W and to that T, watch me. W and T. Join me right here, W and T, straight out. Flip it up, back of the shoulders, and out, then resist on your way down. Flip, and out. Again, you might be able to go out like this. You might have to pull through it either way. We're getting the back, we're getting the shoulders. Let's get it done, 10 seconds. Take it W, and T, last one right here. Whoo, relax, big stretch. Yes, team. One last one. We're gonna do a little skater, alternating our curtsy. Give yourself some space. So you can tap it down, you can tap it down, you can keep it off the ground. 30 seconds, here you go. Tap, tap. So here, eyes up. Get low if you can. Try to keep that back foot off the ground, really skater bound side to side. Or if you need to, just walk it over. That works too. Keep it going, 10 seconds, get that cardio. Breathe, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, yes, big stretch back. Ha! Grab some water, team, we are blowing through it. Whoo, breathe. All right, guys, so Superman, you know I love this one. You've done it with me before. We're gonna circle it back. We're gonna power it forward. So we get legs, arms, and core. Join me here, arms out in front. Lean into it, then drop it back. Down and forward, whoo. Down and forward. So I want you to drive out of the legs, and then as you come forward, you're stabilizing with the arms 
and then the core, right? Legs, 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 arms, core. Legs and core, Woo, breathe. Yes. Let's get last one right here. Hold it here, find that balance. Triceps and push, adjust if you need to. If you need to walk your feet forward, keeping that core engaged, it's a bend. You can have one foot forward here. Elbows are about shoulder width, not too far out, because again, your muscle memory is gonna, gonna wanna do chest press, because those muscles are stronger, but let's keep it tries. Back of the arms, push. Back of the arms, pull with the core, push with the tries. Last one. Yes, walk it forward, get a little stretch. All right, team, before we take it to the mat, we're putting those two together. So you're gonna take it back. You're gonna superman it forward into triceps, on the triceps. Keep them close and push, right? Not here, not here. On the superman, I want you to get as low as you can in that squat into the heels. You may have to figure out where you wanna be for balance and then power off into the tries. In three, two, one, 30 seconds, here. Triceps, yes, here. Triceps, not repeating, we're combining, right? Yes. Good work. You wanna add a little jump? You can, jump it back, jump it up, stabilize before you get to those tries. Yes, last one. Good, and relax, walk it forward. Big stretch, right? Ha, ah, I know team. Let's take it down to the mat. Grab a quick sip of water. We got a lot up top, we got chest, we got tries, we got bys, we got back. A lot of legs, but can we get it done here? I think we can. All right team, so we're gonna bring those straps. We want those handles right around the knees, cradles at about mid calf, or maybe eight to 10 inches off of the ground if you're standing directly beneath your anchor point. If you're out here, you wanna move it in to see where you are, all right? You'll know once you're down there, I'll give you some adjustments if you need them. All right, so coming on down, let's start whoo, with our planks. Let's just get them out of the way. All right, team, if at any point, you need to take these to your knees or you need to take your feet out of the straps. Core on TRX is tough, I get it. So do what's best for you. If you need to modify in the knees the whole time, please do. Flip those cradles up like you're holding dirty socks. Roll back, stick those toes through the cradles, not the handles, and then flip it over. All right, team, so we're coming. We're starting here. We're on our elbows. We're gonna lift it up to here. We're holding that plank, we've got 30, Second. So again, if you need to, you can alternate one at a time or you can hold for a few counts, then come up into it. All right, again, what I want you to do is do what's best for you. Everybody come up and get that little hip flexor stretch since we're there, right? Hold that plank. You know, I always say this, if you're starting to feel like you're dropping or you're getting into your back, I want you to take a break and readjust. I would much rather you take a little break, come back with good form, than to get into the back. So elbows here. Bring it up in three, two, one, hold. So some things to think about. If it works for your strap, press your heels into that handle. Mine could be a little higher for this. It's up to you. We're tightening out in our legs. I wanna make sure you're still breathing, but we're squeezing in our legs, squeezing in our glutes, lifting up in that core, a little tuck of the pelvis. That's hard to do from here, but you can do it. Tuck that pelvis, everything's pulling in. For three, two, one, relax, yes. Good work, team. We're gonna stretch it back. We're gonna come up onto our hands. We're gonna lift it up this way, watch me. We're coming up, we're going out, out, in, in. If you need to drop down in between, I want you to do that. Otherwise, bring it up, here we go. Up on the knees, out, out, in, in. If you can, stay up. If you need to, when you bring it in, Drop it down, little break, bring it up. Take it out, out, in, in. Drop it down, bring it up, bear. Out, out, in, in. Yes, five seconds, you can do it. 
three, two, one, relax. All right, team, I know it's challenging, but we're gonna give you a break in between. So watch me here putting them together. We're gonna bring it up, out, out, in, in, down on the elbows. Hold, three, two, one, bring it back, bring it up. Make sense, right? So you're coming up on the knees, you're pushing back, bring it in, back down on the knees, down on the elbows, and then everything in. 30 seconds in three, two, on the hands, lift up the knees, push them back, out, out, in, in, drop them down to the elbows, take them back, three, two, one, in, on the hands, lift it up, out, out, in, in, elbows, out, out, in, in, think about the same pace, up, out, out, in, in, and down, yes. Can you get one more? Out, out, in, in, down. I know we're a little over. Three, two, one. Relax, yes. Good work, team. I know so much core, but you can do it. Whew. All right, team. Two handles, two fingers in the cradle. We're gonna roll back. We're gonna put our heels in. We're coming. Ah! I'm gonna lose one, that's okay. We're coming with those knees bent. We're gonna do that hip bridge. We're gonna take it down, stretch it out. Bring it in, hip bridge. Take it down and out. Lots of hamstrings, lots of core. We're gonna extend it out when we're down so we get the stretch. Here we go. In, up, and down. Take it in, squeeze, and down. In, all the way up, yes. There we go. Up, up, Woo, back of the legs, you can do it. 10 seconds, really try to get them high. I know, they're burning, but you're close. Last one, and relax. Little stretch right here, you can keep them in right there. Flex your feet. Watch me team, I'm taking it over the head. I'm bringing one knee in, little crunch or all the way up. Here we go. Big deep breath, exhale. You can crunch, bring the knee in. Inhale, exhale, or all the way up. Slow and controlled. And breathe, slow. Think of it as TRX Pilates, right? Control, we're not using momentum like this, right? We're really all the way down, yes. Breathe, ah, you might lose a strap, that's okay. Last three, two, one, and relax, good, good. All right, team, let's put them together. Here's what we've got, you're down, bring them in, lift, take them out, roll them up, roll them up, and then back down, all right? Can we get it? 30 seconds to go. Everything is pulled in. Everything is zipped. In, lift in the bridge, take it down. Up for the core in three, two, one. In, lift. Take it up. Take it up. Take it in. Lift. Woo, stretch it out. Up. Yes. You can do it. In, lift. So close. One more, in, lift, ah, good, and relax. Take those feet out, stretch it here, ha. Ah, you did it, team. How do you feel? Ah, no bonus move, don't worry. We've worked hard, we blew through it. Hopefully you're feeling that core. Let's stay right here. Take those straps in front if you can and really stretch over into it. Press your shoulders down. Ah. So if you like this format, let me know in the comments. I wanna hear from you. I have tons of other TRX workouts, so check them out. If you're looking to get a TRX, look in the descri description. I do have a discount code with that link, with that code, Body Fit by Amy, specifically at the bottom. Let's take those knees out and reach it forward. Ah. But let me know, I have tons of other TRX, some in circuits some in this no repeat format, but just wanted to give you something 
I know you guys like to see no repeat in the title. So something where you can get it done quickly and blow through it. I know it feels like a little bit when we put them together, but we get through it so fast, right? Those little circuits going really fast. Go ahead and come up on to your feet. So make sure you let me know what you thought in the comments below. A little stretch here. Ha. And of course, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. When you subscribe, that helps me be able to keep making these workouts. Make sure also that you're on my email list so you can complete the next level November challenge as well as our other challenges. We have holiday hit coming up and so many fun things in the new year. And if you're really looking to take it to the next level, check out the Body Fit Athletic Club. You can find everything you need to know in the description below. Lots of fun things. That's where you get more support from me, from Vivian, our dietitian, a nutrition plan that's not a diet, very practical approach to getting good balanced nutrition and you get lots of support from an amazing community. Woo! Go ahead, shake everything out. Thank you so much for being here today. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on those notifications. Let me know what you think. Roll those shoulders to the back. One big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your no repeat TRX workouts. Great job, everybody.